What's going on, Imperials? It's Emperor Cubone here. We're back with Pokemon Sword, and by back, I mean we're still here. Hello, Mum. We've got a Grookey, Tum Tum. Well, now, isn't Grookey just a sweetheart? Isn't it, though? And yes, I heard the news from young Leon. I'm glad someone bothered to tell me. <laughs> Off to Wedgehurst, aren't you? Here we are, a bit of pocket money for your journey. Can we have some pocket balls, please? I need Pokeballs. Buy yourself a little something at that Pokemon Center. Maybe some potions or something. Pokeballs. Remember that Grookey will battle to the very end for you, so don't punish the poor deer too hard. Tum tum. And you, Grookey. Look after my little Caleb. Aw, thanks, Mom. Come home and rest any time you need. After all, east or west, home is best. I like this mom. This is a good mom. I guess I could be the Inquisition for the day. What's the best Pokemon mom? I don't know if this one is definitively the best, but, uh, you know, she's pretty good. I'm liking her so far. Hello, Hop. Here we go. This is quite a big step, you know, my first step towards becoming an expert, the, the, the champion. Yeah. Guess I'm probably, uh, train up my Sobble a bit by having it battle against a Pokemon in the tall grass. You should, uh, get yourself to the building with the purple roof, or the great red and white ball, mark out of the front, that's the Pokemon Research Lab, got it. That's where the professor is. I don't want to go there, I would prefer, oh... They're gonna make me go there. You wouldn't want to wake these sleeping Wooloo, right? Better take the long way around. I want Pokeballs! You can see these in the overworld. Even not in the wild area. I didn't... I wasn't sure if that was gonna be the case. Got two Paralyzed Eels. There was only one thing there. It even told me what the Paralyzed Eel did. Wow. That's neat. Okay, there's Charizard. Can we sneak by here? Oh yeah! They're blocking the Pokemon. I want the Pokeballs, you guys! <sighs> I just want to catch stuff. Fine. I'll play your little charade. Hello, Leon. Well done! The res you research the goal and manage to find the Pokemon Research Lab. You reach the goal. You did a far side better than I did my first time. I'm hopeless with directions. Apparently your pants with directions, according to your brother. See how your world has already grown? All thanks to having Pokemon with you. I know I'm sure I've got Charizard with me. I'm sure glad I have Charizard with me. It's really late, you guys. If I didn't mention before, uh, I just got back from buying the game at midnight, and so uh, my reading might not be the best <laughs> to keep me from getting lost all the time. Now in we go! Grrrr! Pretty sure that was Charizard that did the growling, but uh, you never know. <laughs> I've got to give it to Professor Magnolia. Everything in here looks fascinating. I'll work! Is there a yamper? There's a yamper. Yay! Little yampers. What is it today, Leon? Looking for info on another never-before-seen super-strong Pokémon? I wish you'd stop with his outlandish requests. She's Scottish in my head. Oh, Sonia. My dear Sonia. Good to see you too, yamper. Yamper here's a real champ when it comes to helping you find your way around. He came to rescue me plenty of times back in the day when I got lost on the road. Oh yeah, and uh, his trainer, Sonia. Well, what can I say about Sonia? Well, I like the way she looks. Cooks. Freudian slip. Sorry. <laughs> Actually, I couldn't see it. She makes food uh, that you can gobble down in a flash. <laughs> what kind of an introduction is that? Did you forget that we were rivals during our gym challenge? It wasn't just Yamper helping you out. I did too. 
Anyway, nice to meet you. Name's Sonya. I'm the professor's assistant. This is Caleb. He's a new Pokemon trainer. Set him on the path, would you? Yamper. Does Yamper not evolve? Or did she just choose not to evolve Yamper? Or did Yamper choose not to evolve itself? <sighs> what does he think I am? He's always got his head in the clouds. It's no wonder he gets lost all the time. Oh, looks like I've got a Rot looks like you've got a Rotom phone. Hey there, Rotom. Yeah, berserked. Rotom phones are handy little things, aren't they? They've got a map and a navigation tool. That said, Leon still gets lost, so... Oh, sorry. So tell me, do you know a lot about Pokemon? You bet. I'm glad they asked that. Well said. In that case, I'll make it so that you can use the Pokedex on your Rotom phone. Obtain the Pokedex, baby. Just so you know, the Pokedex is a gift from my Gran. Could you let Gran know that you've received the Pokedex? She lives in the house down along Route 2. Leon's a right amazing champion, and I'm basically just an assistant. I'm not even Gran's official assistant either. I've been calling myself one. Somehow it makes me feel a little restless. Don't be restless, Sonia. You're great. Wonderful, in fact. Hey there, trainer. Sorry to stop you. Just like the Pokemon Lab, right? That means you got a Pokedex. I love talking to new trainers and giving them useful stuff. A Pokeball would be useful, sir. Yes, I know what a potion is. Thank you. Honestly, yes, thank you, actually, but... I, uh, I need the Pokeballs. Can I get them now? Oh, baby! Hop! Got your Pokedex from Sonya? It's time that uh, we meet lots of different Pokemon. We've been putting it in the wild and a team in a bad way. Not to mention what a uh, battling po another trainer can do. Luckily, we've got Pokemon Centers. I was going to teach me about the Pokemon Center where I can buy Pokeballs. Come on, Caleb. You've never been inside one. Uh, you would lose that bet, sir. I've been in many a Pokemon Center. Thank you. Nice. It's very compact. Level with me, Caleb. Is this your first time at a Pokemon Center? Of course not. And I don't think you need me to tell you what to do already. If you two kids are Pokemon trainers, you might want to buy some potions before you head out. Cheers! I'm already good, though. I'm heading to Route 2, Caleb. F come and find me when you're done here. I would gladly like to be done here. Hello. Uh, yes, please. How does Nurse Joy get in and out of there? She just hop the counter? Wow, that is... really intense. Okay, the uh, PC woke up. That's good. I'm here to buy. I can't even buy Pokeballs. Are you kidding? Uh, why won't they let me... He literally just told me I need to catch stuff. Okay. Let's just get this over with, all the cutscenes and stuff. I just want to play the game. Listen, Kale, I've been thinking. You're a Pokemon trainer. You're doing the gym challenge, right? The gym challenge? Gym challenge, mate. It's an annual competition where trainers can battle it out and then challenge the champion. But the trick is that you've got to be endorsed if you want to take part. And Lee doesn't seem to think I'm up to snuff. Yeah, he ain't the only one. So I'm thinking I ought to talk to the professor and see if I could do it for her. You know, take your part too. Prep arrival, just anything the trainer needs to keep growing after all. Keep us motivated, right? Professor's house is at the end of route too. So let's get there. Have our teams, and give our teams a chance to train. I don't have a team. I have a Pokemon. You know what? I'm going to run back and see if I can get... I know it probably isn't, but maybe, just maybe... Nope. Okay. This is absurd. Hello, ma'am. Will you give me a Pokeball? Sir, will you give me a Pokeball? What was that? There was a Pokemon behind the counter there. Do you want me to tell you your fortune? You can tell me the month you were born. 
What, does the switch not know that? Next, I need to know what day you were born. Oh, that's why. But still, that's in the switch data, right? Got it. So, since you were born that day, your fortune is... Let's see here. Hmm, what's the stain here? Oh, this must be from my snack. The page is smudged and I can't read it. Ahem. People with your birthday are going to be super duper lucky. You might even run into a legendary Pokemon, or maybe not. So anyway, see you later. How absurdly useless. Hello, madams. If you're looking for a Pokemon professor, then you could go by your lovely home by the lake, enjoying a slow life. Hello. I heard that Leon has a younger brother. I bet he's an amazing trainer just like Leon. You would lose that bet. Berries. Uh, I don't need them right now. Thank you, though. Ooh, fashion. It's fun to do some shopping in the boutique. Even uh, getting a new hat can change your whole look. I would like to get a new hat, actually. Having a meal with your Pokemon makes it taste... Uh, oh, that's the... Uh, curry stuff he's talking about. Got a Poke Doll. Interesting. I do like that the items uh, are given the description immediately. You know that each shop offers a different line of apparel? Uh, this might happen off screen sometime. I might uh, change my look up. We'll see what uh, options they have out there. Hello, what is this house? I'm barging into your place, old man. Sonia and Leon used to have a healthy rivalry, but... But what? Leon loves Pokemon and loves battles. I remember he would always go out, even on practice matches. Hello, kind sir. In order to bring out the full strength of their Pokemon, trainers must be knowledgeable. That's a nice house, Professor. See the house in the distance with the purple roof? That's where the Pokemon Professor lives. Down we go. Over the river and through the woods to Grandmother's house we go. Is he going to tell me how to... Okay. Okay. We're going to learn how to catch a Pokemon, and then they're going to give us Pokeballs. Okay. Every Pokemon got a type or two, which can make it good against opponents, but poor against others. The reason you catch different Pokemon is to cover their weaknesses. Now, let's all have a champion time as I show you how it's done. Why is Leon doing all the heavy lifting? I mean, I guess Professor Magnolia is pretty old. So, there's that. Why does the champion have a Rookity? More importantly, uh, when can I get a Rookity? I understand. He's, he didn't even damage the Wooloo at all. Didn't even attack it once. Are Wooloo just that much of a pushover so that they'll just get caught immediately? Typical Lee. I'll give you some more Pokeballs. In return, I only ask that you catch plenty of Pokemon. Deal! What else are you going to use Pokeballs for? Well, it's like they're itching to join some trainer's team, wouldn't you say? 20! Okay. This Now we're on a roll. This is great. Give you experience when you catch Pokemon, too. Your team will uh, go on changing and growing and stronger together, no doubt. But even I don't know exactly how yet. Your champion should be a good thing, right? All right, I'm going to catch loads of Pokemon. The person will be shocked when she sees. I, too, shall catch loads of Pokemon. Ooh, look at a fox thing! Look at that! A Nicket! Bit of a sticky Nicket, yes. I don't know what type this is. So I'm going to scratch it. Is it a ground type? The tail is making me think ground type. But uh, beat up's making me think dark type. Scratch it again. Nicket. I've not... I did no idea that Nicket existed, that it was in this game. 
We got 20 Pokeballs. We can afford to, uh... Oh, we got 25 Pokeballs. I thought it just said 20. One. Two. Three. Ah! Interesting that, uh, the first Pokemon was not the regional rodent or bird. It was a Nicket. And here we go. Our first Galar Pokemon, besides Grookey. Nicket's data will be out of the Pokedex. It is a pure dark type. Aided by the soft pads on its feet, it silently raids the food stores of other Pokemon. It survives off its ill-gotten gains. Did I think of Nicket a nickname? No. No nickname Nicket. Okay, I'm gonna squove it, squove it, if it's, uh, if it truly is covet, that it's, the second half is based off of. It is a level 7. We'll, we'll give it a one good branch poke. Surely that won't kill it. Wow, this thing's defensive. Branch poke, again. We get a crit. Okay. Tackle. Oh boy. We're gonna scratch it once and then throw a Pokeball. Bite? Already? Yikes, Aronian cheese. Okay. Pokeball. And uh, then we're gonna have to go back and heal. Because we're gonna have a team of old yellows. There we go. Gotta squub it. Grookey leveled up. Uh, okay. Physical attack and HP are the best. Grookey learned taunt. Interesting. Squub it's data will be added to the Pokedex. Squub it, the cheeky Pokemon. Found throughout the Galar region, this Pokemon becomes uneasy if its cheeks are ever completely empty of berries. Pure normal type. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call that Squivet will not stay a pure normal type, if you know what I mean. Uh, there's a Rookity, I do wanna... What is that? Blip bug? That's the regional bug, I guess. Go ahead and scratch it. Blip Bug just makes me think of, uh... Struggle Bug's a good move this early in the game. Uh, Blip Bug just makes me think of, you know, the blip from, uh, the MCU. But does that mean he's a survivor of the blip or a victim of the blip? But really, weren't we all victims of the blip? Blip Bug! All right. We'll catch a rookity on our way back. Blipbug's data will be out of the Pokedex. Blipbug, the larva Pokemon. A constant collector of information. This Pokemon is very smart. Very strong is what it isn't. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Do not give a nickname to Blipbug. We will catch a rookity on our way back, as I said. We have to heal back in Wedgehurst. I don't think I have enough potions to go around, so... Can we actually go to that house in the far background there? Or is that just, uh, window dressing? Hello! Kind Nurse Joy. She's got, uh, both of her things on the side there. I'm not sure I'm a fan of this, uh new setup. Look at that Pokemon. What is that? I'm guessing that's like a like a an Audino type Pokemon. That's my guess anyway. Probably not, but we'll see. Rook a D. There we are, baby. So many Rook D's. Rookity's a nerve. 
kind of don't want to have that ability, so I'm gonna run away. If that's the only ability it can have, that's fine. But, uh, we'll see what some of these others got. A wild rickety yet again. Grookey. Okay, a nerve, yes. Oh yeah, one more chance. That's fine with me. If it's if it is a nerf, we'll uh we'll just roll with the punches. Okay. We're good. It is not a nerf, it is something else. We'll gladly gladly take it. Although it's probably uh when it evolves, it's a nerve turns into some great ability. No! Okay. Woo! Thought for sure we would, uh... Power trip. Interesting. Is Rookity dark too? Is everything dark in the Gala region? Use a Pokeball. One. Two. Three. Woo! Seemed like a long wait between three and the sparks. Man, Grookey is leveling up way too much compared to the rest. Grookey's data will be out of the Pokedex. Rookety, the tiny bird Pokemon. It will bravely challenge any opponent, no matter how powerful. This Pokemon benefits from every battle. Even a defeat increases its strength a bit. Is that true? Probably not. Um, it is a pure flying type, you guys. Rookity is the first non-legendary pure flying type. Thank you. Thank you for finally doing this. It is about time. 20 plus years. Okay. Uh, let's... Let's switch you out for Rookity. And then we'll switch Rookity for... Something else. It's uh, got Keen Eye. See, that's a useful ability. Whereas, uh, I can't even remember what the other one was. Dynamax Level. So do you have to be at a certain level of, like, friendship to Dynamax? Because Grookey doesn't have it. Uh, okay, Runaway. Cheek Pouch. Predictable. And Swarm. Got it. Okay, I kind of don't want to run into... Never mind. That's a Purloin! That's the first not new Pokemon we have seen here. Uh... What do you know? Quick Attack, Beat Up and Tail Whip, Tackle, Bite and Tail Whip... Stru well, Struggle Bug will be super effective, but wait, what level is it? Level 5. It says Blip Lug is blip bug is not strong but we're gonna we're gonna try it maybe it'll like tail whip us or something because we can struggle bug this to death it'll well no we don't want to kill it we want to catch it of course fake out failed it's not the first turn okay okay now let's try and catch his purloin. Um, that is something that you should know about my playthroughs. I try and catch every single thing that I come across. I know purloin is not new, but especially for brand new Pokemon to this game, I'm going to try and catch them all when I see them. Or at least at some point. Ooh, okay, Blipbug and Rookity both leveled up. And Purloin's data will be out of the Pokedex. Purloin, the devious Pokemon. It steals things from people just to amuse itself with their frustration. A rivalry exists between this Pokemon and Nickit. Oh, because they like steal things like they nick it? Okay, well, we're gonna 
See, if this is another Pokemon, it is a blip bug. Okay, never mind. Uh, Rookity would be really good to fight that, but uh, we don't uh, have enough health to quite take on a blip bug, even if they are weak. So, squub it. Let's see what you got. Struggle bug, yes, it lowers our special attack, which is fine because we have none. I mean, we might have special attack, but we don't have any special attacks, if you know what I'm saying. Struggle bug yet again. Surprise, surprise, you have nothing else. Tackle this fool of a took. Blip bug fainted. Nick it leveled up, all right, all right. Good work, everybody. Okay, we're we're gonna go on and meet the professor now. Oh wait, that's a that's a trainer battle. Well, well. Don't mind if I do. It's common manners for Pokemon trainers to battle when their eyes meet. Dun 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 dun. Youngster Jake. He's got a squabbit on his shirt and in his Pokeball. Go, Rookity. Get that experience. I want you to level up and evolve. Uh, we're gonna send out a Nicket. Nicket good. Nicket like you know you should. So, Nicket. Squabbit use tackle. Ooh, that was actually really good. Yeah, he's even got, uh, like, little little gloves so he can nick things. Beat up will be pretty good since we have a full team right now. That was a crit. Nice. Wait a minute. So, Nicket is a fox that steals things? So it's like Swiper from Dora? I wonder how many hundreds of thousands of people are going to nickname their Nickets Swiper. Beat up yet again. Come on, take out this squavit. One more beat up ought to do him in. Squavit use tail whip. Oh, you fool. You should have taken me out when you had the chance. Beat up! Good job, Nicket. Borrowing everyone else's power to do this. Good job! Squabbit fainted. Rookie D leveled up. I beat youngster Jake. I was a strong trainer, I always look right at them. He's so dejected. I'm sorry, you challenged me. Rookie D. Oh, I didn't mean to run into the Rookie D. Okay, how do we take out a Rookie D? With a half beaten up team. <clears throat> okay, we're not in the red anymore. That's good, that's good. I guess squub it. Because if Squavit goes down, it's not like a huge loss. I'm sure there will be wild Squavit evolutions eventually. So we don't need to evolve this specific Squavit. Tackle. We could bite, but it gets stabbed. Squavit use tackle. Oh goodness, this is going to be rough. We might not make it. It used Peck. Does my Rookity know Peck? Level 7? What's my Rookity? Power Trip, yet again. Okay. feel like I should remove Squavit from the equation here. We're gonna go ahead and switch to Garuki, since he's got the most health. Yeah, we can even survive one Peck, I'm sure. Listen to the little chirps of that guy.
Go ahead and scratch it. Boom. Rookity fainted. My rookity is seven. Did it learn peck? It learned hone claws. Lip bug. Squavit. Purloin. Wow. It's a lot. Uh, I wanted this. You got two potions. That's nice that they're uh, upping those. Okay, we're gonna run. Ha <laughs> ha! This is three Pokeballs. Nice. Okay, I've gotta I've gotta use a potion or something because this this girl's coming up and. Uh, we'll, we'll give one to Nicket. And we... We'll give one to Squavit. I didn't wanna, but we might need a, might need a switch mule. That's a Yamper! We're gonna catch that. Cute and strong, together in combination. Talking about you or me? Last Lauren. Send out a Choodle. What is a Choodle? <gasps> that evolves into Dreadnought! Dreadnought has a pre-evolution! Is this a rock type? I don't wanna I don't wanna risk this being a rock type. Against this pure flying rookity. So Grookey is gonna branch poke it. And even if it's just water. It, uh, it'll go down. Branch poke. Poke! Boom. One more. Ought to do it in. We're gonna catch that wild yamper, by the way. It's gonna be great. Gonna get that purloin out of here. You're not new. Where do we find a, uh, choodle? Grookey and Nicket, both leveled up. Nicket learned Hone Claws. That's a popular move around here, apparently. Are we cute and nothing more? It looks like our strength still has a ways to go. I guess she was talking about herself. Which I'm fine with that. She's not wrong. Camper! Uh, we've not actually failed yet in a, in a capture, but uh, if we do... Yamper could retrieve the ball for us, yes. Um we'll we'll try squub it. We'll we'll just tackle it a couple of times, maybe bite it. Yamper use tail whip, okay. I like the little uh like static that you can see in its collar. Okay, perfect. Oh, that was a crit. We can we can still get it though. Squavit used tackle. Okay. Yamper used nuzzle. Oh. That'll be a really useful move. Uh, I don't appreciate that it's you've been used on me right now, but uh, seeing as how we're about to get this Yamper, that'll be really useful. Can use it on gems and everything. Not that I intend to have Yamper in the entire playthrough, but like, you know, you know how it goes. Okay, now I can put Yamper directly on the team. Right? Right? Yamper's data will be out of the Pokedex. Yamper, the puppy Pokemon. This Pokemon is very popular as a herding dog in the Gala region. As it runs, it generates electricity from the base of its tail. Uh, not as popular of a herding dog. Herdier. Fun fact. I don't know if it's even in this game, but, uh, add Yamper to the party for sure. Get rid of Purloin. That imposter is not new to the Gala region. Let's, uh, run into this thing. Whatever it is. It's another Rookity. Okay, we're going to actually use our Rookity to fight a Rookity. 
because I've not actually used Rookity in battle, even though uh, I like it. It's very compact compared to other uh, bird, regional bird Pokemon. Peck! Oh, that Rookity's level 4. No wonder it did so much. Defense fill. Okay. Peck yet again! Rookity fainted. Alright! Blipbug is almost level 7. That might be when it evolves. I don't know for sure. There's another trainer. We'll find out exactly when it evolves right now. I couldn't beat Hop, but I'm gonna beat you. Wait a minute. So Hop already beat you, but your Pokemon is fully healed, Youngster Benjamin? I'm calling foul on that. He has a Blipbug. Against my Rookity. Okay. Fine. Blipbug should have a different name. It should... It should be more... A studious. It should have a more studious name. Because that's what its dex entry was about, and it looks like it's wearing glasses. So it should be called, like, Bookworm or something. I know that's very basic, but so is Blipbug. About to send out a Nicket. Uh, I'll keep in Rookity. Why not? He's not going to kill it in one hit like he did the blip bug, but... Okay, quick attack. Wow, that didn't do a lot. And that did do a lot. I want to know what Nicket evolves into. That's probably the most curious I am about any of these right now, is Nicket's evolution. I like the way it brushes itself off after the attack, too. Pretty good. Rookity leveled up again! Yeah! Beat Youngster Benjamin. Lose the wild Pokemon. Lose too many trainers. Poor kid. Okay, nothing evolved. But, that's what we'll leave it here. We're not going to talk to Professor Magnolia just yet. Be sure to answer the Inquisition down in the comments. Also, be sure to leave a like. Share this video and subscribe so that you too can become an Imperial today. We'll see you around next time.